my channel I'm Margarita and I'm so excited for today's video because finally I will review this Dior summer 2023 collection I have both of these eyeshadows this limited edition bronzer and this limited edition luminizer in coral cruise this collection doesn't have a blush and there's a new blush in their website and i bought it too for this video in this collection they have the three lip luminizers that they don't have it yet on the website so i bought this lip balm that is included in the collection and i bought an extra lipstick coral shade in mitza collection and yes i'm so excited for this video we will do swatches makeup look and my final thoughts and at the end i will let you know if this collection is worth it or not if you want to hear my thoughts about this collection keep on watching if you're new here thank you for tuning in in this channel i talk anything about beauty and makeup i love luxury makeup like dior chanel tom ford if you love luxury makeup like me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And all of the products that will be mentioned here on this video, I will link it down below for your convenience to shop. Thank you guys for supporting me and using my affiliate links to shop. I really appreciate it. It really helps my channel. Okay, I will start this video by using the bronzer and the blush that I bought and the luminizer and eyeshadows and of course the lipsticks. And now guys, let's start with the makeup demo. And I will start with the bronzer. I picked up shade 3. Here's how it looks like. From the past, I picked up shade 5 and shade 6. And before I did YouTube, I'm picking up shade 4. By the way, before I swatch it, <laughs> the comparisons, this is how it looks like. Well, you cannot see the design of it, but I took a video outside to have a closer look of it. Here it is. It's pretty. It has a design and embossing of Christian Dior logo. Now you've seen how it looks like in limited edition packaging, by the way. <laughs> this is very nice. This is the reason why I bought it. You know, I always buy any limited edition from Dior because most of the time it's one of the best. Okay, I'll start swatching it just for reference. By the way, this new limited edition, the Your Forever Natural Bronze, is $55. Here are the swatches of the four shades. Shades 3, the one I have, which I know is a little bit lighter for me, <laughs> for my liking. Shade 4, shade 5, and shade 6. I will use this Dior brush number 16. Yeah, this shade is lighter, but now at least I know I have to stick with my color, shade number 5. <laughs> I belong to light to medium skin tone, so this shade 3 is light for me. This is very nice, blends like a dream, just like previous bronzers, but I think I need to mix it with from last year. This is shade 5 because this is really light for my liking. Anyway, it's the same formula, silky, buttery, the one that you're paying for, for this expensive bronzer, $55. So I will just do the rest of my face, combining these two shades side by side. This is the one I got, shade 3, and this is shade 5. So I will stop experimenting. Next time I will order this bronzer, shade 5, okay? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> if you're wondering what's on my lips, is this Dior Lip Glow in Coral? I'll put more because my lips is so dry. This is my favorite lip gel ever. Okay, you guys, I'm done with the bronzer and this is how it looks like. I combine these two. Actually, I'm glad I bought this shade 3 because I feel like this shade 5 is too harsh. And when I combine it with shade 3, this is the perfect shade for me. I like it. And this collection, Dior Summer 2023, has no blush. Actually, every time they launch their summer collection, they don't have a blush. There's a new blush on their website and I bought it. This is how it looks like. It's very pretty. I took videos outside with the sun, so you will see the actual color of it. And that's the one we will use today. It has a shimmer on it, which I like in the blush. I don't like a flat matte. This rouge blush is limited edition. It's $48, 12 month shelf life, made in France. And the shade is 468 Lupin. It is described as an iridescent, 
pink tone. This blush has beautiful embossing. Of course, the logo of Christian Dior. Very beautiful. So here's the swatches. It has like a uh, illuminating factor like the Chanel blush that just came out, the Fantasy de Chanel. This is like a hybrid of blush and highlighter. It's more of a peachy pink. I can't wait to try it on. And let's see how beautiful it is on my cheeks. That's how it picks up on the brush. Wow, this blush is beautiful. Just like the Chanel blush, it's a hybrid of blush and highlighter that glows. I love it. Let's do the other cheek. I like this blush. It gives me a flash of color as if I had a vacation. You don't actually need a highlighter when you have this blush, but of course I bought the Coral Luminizer of this collection and I'm gonna try it on. But I'm glad I bought this blush because it's really pretty. Okay, you guys, now we'll go to highlighter. They call it Luminizer, this limited edition. This is how it looks like. It's the Your Forever Couture Luminizer in shade 002 Coral Cruise. They have two shades in the website, but the gold one is already out of stock. For reference, I took a video of the other two from last year, but here they are, the pink glow and the gold one. So what I will do is I will swatch these two with this new Coral Cruise so we can see that it's different from last year. Here's the swatches of the new one Coral Cruise and I will swatch the gold next to it and then the pink. So here it is, the top is the new one. It's more of a mixture of coral and more of gold side and the one from last year the gold one is lighter the pink one is more pink so it's good that we have a new shade and i took a video of this new luminizer side by side with the nude glow and golden glow i took a video again of this new one against the other two limited edition of nude luminizer you know you guys i always buy limited edition of dior highlighters or luminizer because it's really one of the best i'm happy to report there is nothing like this new shade so that's good to know right it's not a repeat and now let's try it on the cheeks That's the good thing when you're buying these Dior Luminizers, it doesn't disappoint. It's so pretty. It just melts in your skin. It's a good luminizer for this blush. It complements each other. Let's do the other cheek. It's nice. I will just put it for the rest of my face where I put highlighter. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I need to tone it down a little bit? Okay, so far so good. Everything that I try, I'm liking, which is nice. Now let's go to the new two eyeshadows. Here's the two eyeshadows. Eden Rock, the one that has blue, that is inspired by a famous hotel. And this orange and brown is Rivage. They're both $65, six months shelf life, made in Italy, and limited edition. I took a video of these two side by side with the Dior Summer 2022 collection. It doesn't look the same. The one from last year is darker and more purple and more brown. And this one is more an orange and brown and gold. I'm excited to try them on and I will start with this Rivage. Again, this has beautiful embossing that you can appreciate. That's why I always take a video of this. <laughs> outside so you can see the beautiful design of it. This 533 Rivage is described as a luminous orange satin nude tones and sun drenched white. From the palette itself, you already know this reminds you of sunset, you know, when you're seeing a beautiful sunset, this is how it looks like and that's what we're going to do on my eyes today. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. So here's the swatches. Again, this is very subtle and they're all satin shades. There's no topper here or whatever. There's no matte. It's all satin. Upon swatches, you can feel it's very silky. The look that you will come up with is for sure is just a no makeup makeup look. You know, you cannot do any smoky eye on this because 
the shades are really like very neutral it's like this is a perfect shade for everyday makeup okay you guys from the swatches alone i already know this is so subtle so we're gonna use a base <laughs> i barely use uh, eye makeup base on um, any of my video but i think this time i need it because i want this eyeshadow to show up on my eyelid okay and i'm just using this p louise okay so now i have a good canvas and i won't set it i will use this shade as my transition the one in the middle okay that shade is a very light taupe that barely show up on the eyelids even though i put an eye base on it it's pretty though this is perfect for no makeup makeup look now i will use the dark brown shade to add definition this is a beautiful shade on top of that light up. Now I will use this bright orange just to create like a sunset look. This eyeshadow you guys just disappear in my eyes. I'm already frustrated with this eyeshadow so I will try it wet. I know this is not in a wet and dry formula but I just want to use it with just for curiosity this is the bright orange i wear it okay oh yeah it shows up oh my god if i will use this eyeshadow again i will wear it actually it's beautiful when it's wet now i am seeing the sunset vibes <laughs> Oh yes, now I'm seeing a little sunrise here. I will just put this dark shade again on the outer corner and lower lash line. Now I'm happy. I will just do the same with the other eye. At least now I'm seeing something. Now we're gonna use this white shade, the only shade that I haven't used yet. I'll put it in my inner corner. This white shade is nice. It really brightens up your look. Okay, so I will just finish my look using eyeliner and lashes and mascara and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. <laughs> After all the struggles and complaints on how I will make this palette work, it turns out the final look is pretty. It really looks like a sunset vacation summer vibes. <laughs> This summer 2022 collection of Dior has one lip balm and three lip maximizers that is not available to purchase. So I purchased this lip balm in shade 337. It's $45. It's called 337 Rose Brume, a delicate pink. I purchased one <laughs> from the Mitsa collection that I have because I want something coral. 540 Silky Coral. On top of that, I picked up this new case from Dior. If there is anything that I will recommend at the end of this video, this is really, really nice. And the refill Dior Addict that I bought is in shade Dior Riviera. is described as bright coral. We will try all these three lipsticks from this eye makeup look to complete this summer vibes. The lip maximizer that they have, this is one of their old lip maximizer. This is part of their Dior Summer 2021, which I purchased too. I will use this first. <laughs> so this is how this look looks like, just using a bronze lip maximizer. This nice. Now I'll take this off and I will try the three lipsticks that I bought. And now let's try the lip balm, 337. So it looks like, as we speak, I took a video of this outside so you will see a better vision of it. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks like, Dior Lip Balm 337. Okay, this lip balm is barely there, okay? So I'm getting it now. This collection is all about summer and no makeup makeup look because everything that I tried right now is barely there. <laughs> it's hydrating though. It feels good to the lips. It's like 
buying a blue chili mung. I will take this out and try the other two that I bought. Again, this is part of their Mitsa collection. This is Rouge Dior 540 Silky Coral. So it looks like, and I took a video of this outside. And the embossing of this is so pretty. The Dior sign. And I will try it on. Okay, so this is Rouge Dior 540 Silky Coral. And now we're gonna try this Dior Lip Addict. I bought this for the case. <laughs> a Summer Vibe refill on it. And I chose the shade 661 Dior Riviera, a bright coral. Six six one Dior Riviera bright coral and when they said bright coral it's really bright. <laughs> I love it though. You know the three lipsticks slash lip balm that I bought. They're all feel hydrating. Of course, the first one is really lip balm. But the other two, the Mitsa collection and this, are both hybrid of lipstick and lip balm which is nice for summer because we don't want a cracked lip like what I have right now. <laughs> okay you guys, I will try the other eyeshadow that is Eden Rock. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready for the second eyeshadow. This Eden Rock, I'm hoping for the best for this one. <laughs> Shots of this outside the house with the sun. And this Eden Rock is described as a glittery azure blue, pearly bronze shades, and a luminous ivory. Let's swatch it. Okay, so this is how the swatches look like. <laughs> I think I just want to do a bronze shade all over in summer look, right? Let's start using this palette. Okay, so I will start my eyeshadow look with this bronze shade which looks so promising it looks like you know the tom ford <laughs> golden bronze oh wow this bronze shade is really showed up <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is very nice. I will not dip into another color. I will just put another eye. This eye looks normal because <laughs> I don't put too much. It's a nice shade. Okay, this is a beautiful start. I will just blend this other eye. This is what I am talking about. This one performs like a regular the eyeshadow that you paid $65. This bronze shade is really very beautiful. It's for me if I will use this and I'm in a rush, I will just do this and I'm done. This is a good summer look already for me. I love this bronze eyeshadow for one and done look like this. I will try to use this shade here. It's yellow mustard. And try to layer it here. For some reason, this eyeshadow, Eden Rock, is more pigmented than the other one, Revage. I will just do the same with the other eye. Now I will use the blue shade. Remember, this blue shade is sheer. It's not really a royal blue shade. I think this is only good for an accent shade, not all over the lid. I'm going to put it in the outer corner here. Top it off. I will just leave it like that because in reality, if I will use this palette, I will use it like this. It's pretty like that. I like it. I will use the same blue shade on my waterline. Using the same brush, I will use this dark bronze on the lower lash line on top of that blue. Okay guys, I just want to try this, this yellow shade mustard. I'll put it here to brighten up that bronze. And I will use this white shade in the inner corner using this sponge applicator. This white shade is brighter than the other palette. Put a little bit here. Now I will just blend the bronze shade using this last color that I haven't tried yet. 
Okay guys, I think I will start from there. This is the final look that I came up with. This Eden Rock Eyeshadow Queen from New York. I will just put liner, lashes, and I'll be back. What do you think you guys? What do you think about this collection? I want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to make comment down below. If anybody picked up this collection, let me know your experience, especially with the eyeshadows. I really want to hear your thoughts. For this review, my final thoughts, my favorite among everything that I showed is this Luminizer 002 Coral Cruise. This is the one that is really a best representation of Dior. It melts in your skin. It really complements your looks for summer. And for summer, this is really a very good addition to your existing makeup collection. The bronzers of Dior is always great. This limited edition packaging is really nice. For the blush, if you like the hybrid of blush and highlighter, this is for you. This is very beautiful. I'm a fan of this kind of blushes. The eyeshadows is not the best release from Dior. If you want to try the Dior makeup line, buy the regular queens that has the original formula of Dior because their eyeshadow queens is really very very good. But this release is not. I'm just being honest. <laughs> The two lip products, the lip balm and this Dior Misa Collection Silky Coral, they're okay but I don't think it's a must for you to get it. The one that I really really like is this Dior case. <laughs> this is limited edition you guys. At this moment it's out of stock at the Dior website so I will link this on other retailers that is available. This is very very good buy. If you like this video and find it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!